All right. So this is a new thing with uh, Zoom. It, I think it's hard coded into the distribution. So there, it's not something we can turn off, just so you all know. Um, which we were talking about yesterday in the community call. We kind of like the recording in progress announcement. And if you're not comfortable with it, it gives you an opportunity to opt out of the recording. So just FYI for folks. Um, so hi, it's uh, first part of June. We made it to June, which is nice. The minutes I think are in the chat. If you have access to those, that'd be great if you could fill in your name and how things are going. It's raining a lot in Cincinnati. That's too bad. Uh, it's fine. And let me introduce myself first. Hi. Sure. Hi. Okay. Hi, I'm Jean. Just call me G U N Jean. And I'm I'm from Huawei. And and I know Xia Xiaoya and uh, Wang Ye Hui. Yeah. Nice, to meet, nice to meet you, Jean. Thanks for coming. Welcome. Yeah. So I and um, I work for um do you know open open owner and uh, or Mansible. And this is open source project. And uh, I have to metric, I have to metric this those projects. One was open Ansible. Was it was it Ansible? Was that right? And I, I will type type it to to all okay. of you. That'd be um, great. Do you know open Unar? Um sorry. Open Unar. Yes, this open source project. Just we uh, talked about that here before yes, in the um in yeah. the in this meeting. I think uh yeah. maybe King has brought it up. Um it's a Linux uh, delivery version from it's uh, uh, initiated from Huawei, but so far it's already collaborate with so many uh, other uh, companies within China. So there's over 7,000 uh, repository already. And we uh, store those repositories in the Gitty, another the similar uh, platform like GitHub, but it's China uh, you know, code uh, management platform. So. Yes. Yes, I type I type the code link in the in this. Uh, uh, you it. can see. <clears throat> so is the the hope to develop kind of a metrics dashboard or like a metrics view of some of these projects? Yeah. Yes, yeah, such okay. like this. Yes. So gotcha. we, we have to use uh, so in the first uh, metrics we use uh, Charles Trust, trust metric to match this. So the trust project is very useful for us. Could you type that project into to the chat? Yeah, uh, I, I, I think Jim means chaos, chaos metrics. Oh, chaos, oh. sorry, chaos. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Thank you. Jim mean, you means we take a lot of reference from chaos metrics and yes. introduce those metrics mechanism into our own uh, metrics uh, platform. So, uh, you know, last weekend, uh, I have some discussion with Jun uh, during one meeting. So I told him uh, we have this meeting uh, every two weeks and uh, Jun show a very big interest on this meeting. So she joined today. I think she will uh, continue to join us with the following meeting. I hope so. Yes, I will. That's great. 
So are there I just went back in the the notes and checked and it looks like we talked about we talked about it a few times back in the meetings in um end of February and beginning of March. I think there was mm -hmm. a um a meetup in March for Open Euler. Yes. Yes, yes. <clears throat> But I don't think okay. we've talked about it since March, so this is good. Okay, that's all. Yeah, I think we do need we do need a lot of more uh, uh, reference and and help from chaos metrics because the communities we we uh, we were mirrors so far it's become bigger and bigger, and. Uh, and we do know that there are some more uh, metrics and we think we can introduce in, into our chaos communities. So we also uh, hear that uh, so more and more Chinese people from the open source communities uh, in the past uh, uh, several months when we talk, talk to them about chaos metrics, have you ever heard about that? And the, the intri interesting thing that uh, most of them have ever, have ever heard of that uh, in some ways, like, uh, like meetup we hold last year in China and also some, uh, some other uh, channels. Uh, so we think, uh, uh, actually that's why uh, uh, this this year's later, we want to release our first version. I mean, the Chinese translation version uh, to sync up with the latest uh, uh, chaos metrics version. I mean, that's why I propose this topic today. I see Xiaoya also propose a topic related to it. Yeah. Uh, it's I took a day or two to, uh, I walked through all the metric, all the translated metrics, uh, especially metrics under the Rev revolution working group. And um, I think they all looks good to me now. I made some um, some rev uh, revisions and um, uh, yeah, and I realized that uh, all the reviews metrics, all the metrics related to reviews are changed to change request now. And the, the structure, the, the structure kind of have, have, have some change and I, I revised that too. So I think they are um, at least all these translated metrics, um, they can be released uh, along okay. with the next, yeah, next metric. So you think, you think the evolution metrics there are some, I'm guessing there are some pull requests that you had made. I, I'm not looking oh, at the repository. Right oh, now, yes. Yeah, all the, all the pull requests related metrics are changed to change requests. Oh, okay. So there's no open pull request right now. So you think those metrics are done and ready to go? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Cool. So I'm going to, could, could I ask you, Shaya, to open an issue in the translations repository and just say that and ping Kevin? Oh, sure. That? It's like K Lum, if you know Kevin. Yeah, I, I know her. I know his get out. Get out. Okay. Uh, yeah, and just Kevin. say that and just say that the you think the evolution metrics are ready for release. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. Okay. Cool. And then to to Jean and do you say Yuhai? Yuhi? How do you say? I want to get it right. Or some other way? <laughs> uh, yeah, Jean. And how do you say your name? Yuhi? My I name is Yuhi. 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 Yeah. Yuhi. Yuhi. Okay. Yuhi. Yuhi. And Jean, could you could you also maybe speak to how we could help you in the chaos project? Like, so you you have the metrics, so you've been looking at the chaos metrics as helping inform how you understand the projects. Are there other things that we could be doing in the chaos project to help, you know, improve 
how you understand the health of those projects. Uh, actually, I, I'm, I, the reason I joined this chaos community and, and uh, uh, getting familiar with, uh, start getting familiar with the chaos metrics uh, just uh, since two months ago, I think. And uh, the reason is, is, is that because we want them uh, to see the several communities uh, we are managing so far, you know, like uh, June post on this chat, open roller, multiple open goals. So we want to see how healthy of those communities. So we are looking forward some metrics uh, could support our uh, insight on those communities. So we also do some, uh, like June said, they, uh, June have already been uh, implement uh, uh, platform to do those metrics, but it's not open source. Uh, yeah, it's already open sourced and uh, and uh, and put it on the Gitty, uh, this GitHub. And we and myself, I also tried out with uh, GreenLab to set up the communication with the Gitty. Gotcha. So, so yeah, we based we all the metrics we are doing uh, mo a lot. Lots of things are using the uh, reference from the chaos metrics, and we are also thinking that um, together with the growing of our communities, we are thinking of um, there are more and more uh, metrics. We have a big interest. Maybe we could introduce things into our chaos community to become a metrics uh, in the uh, under the community uh, under the chaos. So that's that's our first goal to do though. And that's also, and and the second point is that, like I just mentioned earlier, uh, we noticed that more and more people from China, they get more interest on this community uh, uh, metrics uh, to measure he, their their communities. So we want to introduce and uh, and promote chaos metrics. To, to to those people in China. And that's why I think Xiaoya's work, I mean, the translation work, it's quite important uh, in the following uh, communications with people in China. And uh, so that's why I post uh, uh, the topic here, but uh, I want to sync up with the, uh, our next uh, uh, chaos version. Uh, with, uh, with Chinese translation version. I know Xiaoya has just finished the translation based on the latest version. It's uh, in March, it's based on the March version, I think this year. So I hope, um, yes. I hope, uh, you know, after three months later, uh, when the chaos released their next uh, version, uh, a Chinese version could uh, came up with uh, with with the next one. I hope so. That's okay, my proposal. All... Yeah, that's yeah, my proposal. This... Okay, this all makes a lot of sense. So, um, I was just going to summarize a few things. So, one is is there's the potential to develop new metrics that would be contributed back to the chaos community, and we are certainly there to help in that yeah. regard. Yeah, and so um, as you are feeling like there are new metrics that are coming from the work that you're doing or the work that is occurring within the community in China, um, just let us know and we can help kind of orient where those metrics might be best suited and kind of the template that we follow for developing those metrics. So we're happy to, to certainly be there for that. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. And, and all yeah, uh, the thing, yeah, the things is that um, actually I also talked with the king, and uh, and the Clement, that um, actually we plan to hold uh, the next uh, chaos meetup in China. You know, since last uh, chaos meetup in China, it's already past the six months. Uh, we are thinking of it, so we um, we want to utilize 
this meetup to to discuss uh, the chaos metrics with different people who have interest on this chaos metrics and also we want to promote these chinese translations like the work done by xiaoya and king and clement and maybe future we want to involve more people to to do this translation work to help them speed up the, the process to catch up the process of the next release of the english version release that's that's our idea cool i got that in the minutes too so as far as the meetup goes, so we had helped last time too. I mean, I know you were running it locally, but there were a few individuals that, um, Elizabeth, could you help me here? Like they had done some pre-recorded talks that we, so like, I think Ray had done a pre-recorded talk. Yeah, Sounded. I did one. Okay. I have all yeah. the recordings. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you can help us to re refresh the recording. Yes, yeah, exactly. sure. <laughs> and, uh, you can offer that as again some some other recordings and depending on when it is, I mean it's possible that we could start attending, which would be yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> because we we may be doing this study on the chaos matrix, we notice that some people from China they already put some attention on the chaos matrix. Like two years ago, they posted some articles, uh, of course written in Chinese, to post it uh, on the uh, on the some channels. And I I saw that there are many people have have interest on, on that, and they have ever uh, put an eye on it to to focus on it. Yeah. I can't tell you how good that is to hear. <laughs> the, the, the word is out. So that's that's yeah. awesome. Mm. Um, and so we're, I, you know, I'll say we're happy to help with the meetup again. You know, I know that we had actually scheduled. Shoya, do you remember? Did we have like different time that we would work on kind of arranging it or did we use this time? Do you remember? Or Elizabeth? We had some meetings where we kind of coordinated the meetup, or did we just do it all asynchronously? Uh, I think we did it here and and through email. We're happy to, to help there again. Um, also, could it, it sounded like there was a, a tool that's being developed in China on Giti that is open source, that's actually deploying some of the chaos metrics, is that correct? Uh, I mean, the gate is just like GitHub, but it, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's managed by, by, by China company. If you, do you have the link to that Giddy repository? Because I, I mean, I'd love to track, not that I don't know that I'll understand uh, the Chinese, but if, if there's an open source tool that's being developed that's deploying chaos metrics, that's awesome. And, you know, uh, I mean, June, maybe you can share your, your, your GitHub, your Gitty repository about your infrastructure platform. Um, Is it open, uh, right? <laughs> if it's, yeah, if it's not open, that's okay. <laughs> And just just in in this com compute cannot open. But I think it's a, it's a, it's yeah. already open source right? in the uh, deployed on the. Just, uh, just to show just to show Gitty Gitty platform or our um, metric. Uh, you mean I saw your name is open open way or what's that? Your infrastructure name is OpenWay or Open Source Way, or is that one? Uh, just a shoe. If it's open, if it's open source and you you have the URL, if you could put it in the chat or the minutes, that would be really great. Okay. Just love to kind of keep track of any tools that are deploying chaos metrics. And then the there are two more uh, things. So yes. yeah, go, okay. go ahead. Uh, let, let me see. I type type this. Sorry. Type, type. 
accepted. Such like uh -huh. uh, this yeah. is the co code repo, and maybe we have some um, open, open owner, but this is cool. Ch Chinese, Chinese. Thank you, Chinese talk. I think you at at least you you have read me and it's in English, right? I see, I see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have to change it to uh, transfer to English. Well, thank you for sharing that. That's a great. Yeah. Um, and then I was wondering with with respect to the work that you're doing to kind of understand the health of projects like Open Goss or Open Euler, are you, is there anything that, um, that we can do to help provide insight into what the metrics might mean? Because there's this, there's, there's one thing to have the metric and then there's another thing to kind of understand the metric or the metrics in context. And I mean, in the chaos community, there are people that are amazing at helping provide guidance, looking at one particular person on this call right now. <laughs> and Don, I just, you know, like, like using this call to even like, um, just look at some of the results or, you know, Sean does this a lot. He's not on the call right now, um, but just like what the, what it could mean, you know, in a in a context that I don't know if that would be helpful at all. Like only in like it's just something we could spend like maybe 10 minutes in this meeting or you know 15 minutes in the meeting, just kind of talking through what things might mean. I'm not putting Dawn on the spot, but just even though I said your name twice. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just there, there's just so much expertise in the chaos community, that's all of people who do really amazing work on this. And I don't know if that would be helpful at all. So just thinking about uh, it. Actually, uh, from my know, uh, after discussed with June, that uh, this platform, um, it's um, most fo mostly focused on the community gov governance this way, uh, th th this way forward. So uh, they do have some experiences how to marry this uh, governance, uh, some items uh, from from this way. So so maybe Jun and I could abstract some metrics uh, based on our uh, practice, and uh, and put it into the chaos metrics, and we could have some discussion of that. If we could introduce them into the chaos metrics, or we could do some reference on that. Yeah. Yeah. You you have um so um in this for example we could put some practice uh, in this meeting and uh, you can help us to help us to check which metric is correct or more makes sense or like this just uh, okay. yes just uh, just we have to talk about metric and uh, and with the with our debt metric uh, debt. As, yeah as B, as Jim mentioned we a lot of metrics we defined just based on our experiences yes. that uh, we do want we do want to hear more voices and ideas from other peoples like you mentioned from other uh, projects they may have uh, some good uh, experiences we could refer on and we can improve our metrics that sounds that sounds great and that's i think the model we follow a lot with our metrics development they come from experience we talk about them openly and mm -hmm. um people add on people are you for a metric sometimes we have people are you why a metric may not be quite as good as you think it might be, right? You know, so we talk through kind of all the different variations on, on what a metric can be. So perfect, that sounds great. We'd love to, to help and we can use this time to do that. Yeah, that's great. Great. 
Um, and then I was gonna, I was kind of waiting on the translations because there's a, it's connected to one other thing as well. So with respect to the translations, um, I totally agree that getting the Chinese translations is, is really important. I also, I saw that Yash is on the call. So um, we have a, there are two Google Summer of Code students who are helping with the, the English version of the chaos metrics release. So right now, the process by which metrics get re gets released is a little cumbersome or a little complicated. And so we're, we've been working with uh, some Google Summer of Code participants to kind of improve that workflow so it's not so, so complicated from beginning to end. And they've been doing an amazing job in this and they're gonna to continue to work on this over the course of summer. Um, but also as part of, part of um, what we're gonna be talking with um, the participants, the Google Summer of Code participants is how do we incorporate the translations component into this release as well? Because we don't wanna have an English version release and then a, a terribly lagging Chinese version release or Spanish version release that doesn't do us any good. And so, yeah. you know, based on um, how you're talking and based on like show you the work that you had done, I think it'll be important to kind of connect with, with the, the students to um, try to ensure the best process that's the least burdensome for people, but still, and I don't know what that process is going to look like. So, you know, Yash, you may have some thoughts on this too. But. Yeah, thanks a lot, Zoya. I just saw your peer, uh, your work. It was, it's really helpful. I think the metrics are now ready for the release. So once we have the uh, process for automation of the English version, I think we can create one for the translated versions also. Spanish and Chinese, and we'll see what other components we can add. Like the English version has some, uh, like it has some pages from the website repo which summarize what metrics are being included in the report. So I think some pages like that can be added. And before we actually start describing those metrics. So, you know, everyone knows what is being included in the report. And hopefully these uh, will be like after the table of contents and we'd prefer obviously to, for them to be in Chinese. So we'll have to see how we can get those translated versions of those pages. Mm -hmm. So, so, yes, so my, my, yes, please. Um, Actually, I want to mention the trans uh, the Chinese translated. Also, I think the Spanish translated version is not based on the March English version. I think it's last year because I know there are uh, several new released metrics not translated at least to Chinese. Um, so there is uh, actually a time um, and we are keep, keep re releasing new metrics and how to make and are we going to um, pay for the company to um, let them to be translated and then um, we review them and to be released with with um, maybe together with uh, every, every English version uh, metrics released with them or there could be a ongoing workflow. Uh, um, this is actually, I. <laughs> Um, I put a topic about summer 2021 promotion plan. And this, uh, th there is one of the ideas, if you can look into the document, um, I, the, the idea is, um, I, I, yeah, I come up with that idea uh, to uh, automate metrics translation workflow. And yeah, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, it's because, yeah, because we, um, uh, we have 
um, if you see the mentor information, one, one, one is me and another um, person is um, a senior engineer and also a senior student uh, at my lab. And um, he developed a um, project uh, named Hyptrons. It's Hyptrons, it's a robotic RPA, robotic process automation tool based on GitHub. And um, if you can see the documentation, he already integrates some um, external plugins. One of them is um, Google Translation API. So if we can integrate the, it into the into Chaos uh, Translation repository and each time we have new uh, metric released and we can call this, we just call this robot and it can uh, call the Google Translation API to translate them into Chinese or Spanish or any other language. And it, it sure will be very much like machine translated and we need to depend on some, depend on community members to review them. But I, I, I suppose that would be much more cheap and um, um, efficient. So, yeah, go ahead, Have you ever do some tryout on some projects to see the correct things? Oh, um, I think um, the translated results should be what we um, apply on um, Google Translation um, app or website. Mm -hmm. But this could be integrated. This uh, Hyptron, this could be integrated into any GitHub repository. And um, yeah, it's not just a translation. Actually, let me, I will paste the link in the chat. It provides some other, um, just to all, all the, the, um, the aim is to improve the collaboration efficiency. Um, to improve open collaboration workflow. And it can also like um, CICD or, um, or, just, or some um, like, like you can just, um, it's actually the, it's, it's, it's a GitHub app which can do some coordination work. Yash, did you have a comment? I saw you're unmuted yeah, for a second. I think it's really great if we can integrate that. And it would help simplify the process a lot. The I'm not sure about the summer 21 timeline. And if we get a participant for that project, I would prefer if he or she first works on translating the pages from the website repository that are to be included in the report. I can guide that which pages need to be translated. So yeah, that's what I have to say. So my, my thoughts on this too. So Shoya, thank you so much for the, the student application or the, the idea and also thinking through how the translations can be done. Cause you're right. I mean, we can always pay for new translations but that's not probably a long-term sustainable solution. So having it done by a robot <laughs> might be better. And then having community members help kind of improve the robotic translation um, seems very sensible to me. And then um, Yash, I think with you and, and Ritik, you know, one of the things to think about is not just the process by which the release can be automated, kind of the way that the English translation process is automated. But I think something to think about too is like, there's gonna be an automated component to this, but there's, there's also a community component to this. And so as was mentioned earlier, trying to build the chaos community to assist in translations of the metrics. And so like, what would, what would be necessary to um, kind of help people into 
the process of translating, right? So if you're a, a new community member with an interest in helping with translations, like how do we onboard somebody to help in that regard? And what's the process by which we recommend that they follow to assist with translations? You know what I mean? Like the social part as well to help with the translations, not just the automated part. Yep. Cool. So if you and, and Ritik this summer can kind of think through that process too, that'd be awesome. I think we can discuss this with the other mentors also. Mm -hmm. Yep, certainly. Great. Um, all right. Well, I'm, I'm really happy to hear the, the interest and the, the push on translations. So I think that's great. Um, does anybody else have any comments on translations? There's pretty good documentation of the tool starting out here on how they plan to automate it. It looks pretty, pretty cool. The tool that Shoya had? Yeah, the link she yeah. shared. There's a there's another link that's um, in there that I kind of found that looks pretty cool. Cool. Um, all right, so then, so Shoya, did you want to talk about while we're on the project ideas, did you want to talk about that at all? Other than you had a couple other ideas in there, other than translations, it looks like for the yeah, other for translation, uh, another idea. Uh, yeah, I, I want to thank Vonu for helping me during this process, and he already submitted um, the the ideas and uh, the interest interest MD file to the governance repository. Um, and um, so one of the ideas is uh, about Grammar Lab Totoro, um, which is um, come up by come up by Vernu. And um, another idea is about developing community reports reports components. And um, this idea um, maybe cut, uh, because uh, I know we uh, we have four components um, which realized. Uh, already, um, already realized, and will be, uh, and can be applied, right, right, and 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 maybe we can develop some more new components. And um, I remember, I, I I shared um reports and um a GitHub Insight reports, which is per published by by my um by published and developed by the folks from my lab. And um, we are kind of doing some, um, um, it's pretty the same thing, um, design some metrics, but they are more uh, maybe complex. Um, and um, all, 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 all those metrics are based on GitHub data, GitHub coordination data. And um, so, um, so oh, oh, the, that is open digger project and um, um, the project is still thinking of um, developing more uh, visualize vi visualization components so uh, we we are uh, looking at a chaos metrics for some inspirations and uh, um, so that is the idea how the idea come comes and um, and and actually, I I'm looking at uh, all the pro all the new released chaos metrics today, and um, I opened um, many issues under um, the Open Digger projects. Oh, let me let me paste the GitHub project. Of yes, you did open many issues. Yes. <laughs> oh my um, God! Good yeah, job. I'm we are we are kind of try to um, find all the chaos metrics and that can be realized or can be uh, visualized um, based on GitHub coordination data, and uh, we will discuss um, on the weekly meeting about um, how to realize them maybe in our own way, realize these metrics. That's great. Cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Thanks, Shoya. Uh, 
All right, um, we have a few minutes left. Shari, did you have anything else that you wanted to add? Um, that's all, that's all from me. Thank okay. you. Well, honestly, thank you for all your work. This is amazing. Um, so just so people know, it does look like Chaos Con in person is gonna be happening. So at the end of September, I don't remember the date right off the top of my head, but at the end of September, we have a half a day. So we have two rooms. Um, we'll do kind of, it looks like we'll do kind of a limited set of speakers just because we don't have a lot of time. Um, and then another room will be used, it's like tables and it looks like another room will be used for a working session. So like if the working groups wanna get together and talk or if you wanted to talk about you know upcoming event or whatever it might be, we'll have another room that's kind of more informal. Uh, I'll say that the Linux Foundation appears to be uh, in incredibly supportive of the ancillary events this year, just in terms of available technology, uh, food and coffee and tea. And it's really been pretty amazing. Uh, so as we're being recorded, <laughs> thank you. To, thank you to the Linux Foundation. This is yeah. it's, it's really, really nice. Um, so just, I wanted to put that out there. It's just, and just great to, to know that um, this is going to happen. And then Elizabeth, I'm guessing you put the last one in there, the Slack channel. I did, I did. Um, I know, Yohoi, you, I think, responded to the email thread on the mailing list and said you would be uh, willing to be a volunteer to kind of set that channel up and or moderate and make sure that, um, you know, the conversations are going okay and appropriate and all of those things and that people are finding what they need. I just wanted to know, is that still something that you're interested in doing? Or if we have any other people that want to set that up on Slack? I would set it up myself, but I'm not sure, like I don't speak Chinese, so I, I don't know how to name the channel and, and what to put in there. Sure, I, I also, I'm still have an interest on, on this to maintain this Slack channel. Uh, I, can, I can do do some help on that. I think Xiaoya and, uh, and Jun would also have some interest on that. I hope more people sure. from China could, yeah. could uh, join, join, join uh, Chaos Slack uh at the at the chi chinese uh china as the entry point but finally we will introduce into our main uh, channels i hope so that's really great thank you so much and i like your idea too of um using that as you said a starting point to kind of drive people back to the english channel if possible because i know that was a concern where conversations get uh, split apart and, you know, things are happening in different places. Um, so that would be amazing if if the three of you want to, to do that and set that up. And I will also be in the channel. I probably won't be very helpful, but I will be there nonetheless. <laughs> so I can help out if if possible, but it's, that would be it's fantastic. Good. It would be really helpful. Thank you very much. Happy to what, do that. Elizabeth, what would they need to set up the channel? Do they need anything beyond just clicking the add channel button? I don't know That's that. a great question. I don't know the answer to that, actually. Um, if we need to, if, if you all try to set it up and you don't have the proper permissions, let me know and we'll add someone as an admin on the, on the admin team um, that you should have the proper permissions. Don, did you have a comment? I saw you unmuted for a second. No, I was just going to say that I think anyone can create a channel, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, great. All right. Um, anything else from anybody? We are really approaching the end. It's very productive. This was really great. All right. Um, seems like there's a lot of. Yeah, Sorry, go ahead. by the way, our, our next meeting is two weeks later, right? Because I, <laughs> because I missed the last meeting. I don't want to miss the next meeting. <laughs> two weeks. Exactly, yeah. okay. two weeks. Cool. Yeah, okay. I think we, yeah, we, we didn't have a meeting two weeks ago because of the holiday there, so. Okay. You didn't miss anything. Yeah. All right. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all good. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Well, thanks, and it's good to see everybody, and have a great rest of the day and great rest of the week. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.
Bye.